Hey YouTube, what's going on? John here, and in this video I want to give you 5 tips for Mac OS X Lion. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, the first tip I want to give you for Mac OS X Lion is something you probably noticed right away after you upgraded was the scrolling is different than it was in Snow Leopard. And that's because Apple thinks the natural scrolling is like the iPhone or the iPad. If you're flicking up on the uh, magic mouse or the trackpad, then you're scrolling down and if you're uh, flicking down you're scrolling up so it's pretty much just inverted so what you need to do is go into your dock into system preferences and then either click on the trackpad or the mouse whichever one you use I just use the magic mouse and you'll see this option for scroll direction natural all you have to do is uncheck this box here and you'll have it back just like it was in Snow Leopard my second tip has to do with full screen apps. In Mac OS X Lion, Apple introduced full screen apps. And let's go ahead and launch uh, Safari here. And we'll put it in full screen mode by clicking this button up in the top right hand corner. Now it may not be obvious once you uh, go into full screen mode how to get out of this. And there's two ways I'm going to show you how you can get out of the full screen mode. One is by going up to the top right corner and then your uh, menu bar at the top will drop down and you'll see this blue little uh, box with these two arrows. This is one way to get out and you just go ahead and click that and you're back to uh, the way it was before you went full screen. But let's go back into full screen mode and another way you can get out of full screen mode is just by hitting uh, the escape key on your keyboard and you're right back to your normal screen. Tip number three has to do with customizing your system preferences. Now if you have a lot of applications on your Mac, you might see a lot of icons here in your system preferences to go in and change the settings in that application. Now if you want to uh, remove one of those uh, icons to clean up space in your system preferences here just so it doesn't feel as cluttered as it was, all you have to do is go up to your menu bar at the top, click view, customize, and you'll see these check boxes next to all the uh, icons in your system preferences. So if we want to delete this, uh, not delete, but uh, remove this pastebot sync here in system preferences, all you do is click the check mark next to it. Or if you want to get rid of uh, music manager here, we can check that one too. And then you go back up to view, unclick customize, and you'll see that those two uh, icons are now gone. So that is how you uh, customize the view in your system preferences. Tip number four is a nice little feature Apple added in Mac OS X Lion that uses Spotlight to search the web. Now if you don't know where Spotlight is on your Mac, it's in the top right hand corner, it's that magnifying glass right there, and we'll click this and say we want to search uh, iPhone 5 rumors. Now you just type in that and down at the bottom you can search the web for iPhone 5 rumors or you can search Wikipedia even for iPhone 5 rumors. So let's go ahead and click search the web there and you see it brought, searches right in Google there. So that's how you can search the web or search Wikipedia from Spotlight. My fifth and final tip for Mac OS X Lion has to do with one of my biggest frustrations with Lion is if you have a lot of applications or use a lot of applications and then go ahead and shut down your computer and then the next time you reboot all those applications show up on your computer's desktop just like they are now. You see I have Twitter, VLC, I have Safari and Mail open. Now if I go ahead and shut these down like this with the red X in the top left corner. Uh, if I were to shut down and reboot, those applications would show right back up on my desktop. Now I found two ways you can avoid these showing back up. One is to go down in your dock and actually right click on these applications and click quit on all of them. Okay, And then or when you go to shut down, after you click on the apple up here, go to shut down and you'll see this uh, checkbox here it says reopen windows when logging back in just uncheck this box and click shut down and the next time you reboot you should not have these applications show up if you have any comments or questions about any of the tips i've shown you in this video you can leave those down below in the comments section also if you like this video please click the thumbs up button as it always helps me out and you can click the subscribe button at the top to be notified of all my new youtube videos on your youtube homepage and we'll catch you guys in the next video